On Wednesday, Russia's proposal for a new, joint investigation into the poisoning of former double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter Julia in Salisbury was voted down at the International Chemical Weapons Watchdog at The Hague. Speaking at a press conference on Thursday, Mr. Yakovyenko claimed that the 17 countries who abstained from voting were under the strong pressure of the UK and the US but that this also showed the international community was not yet prepared to stand on the British side. He said, 15 countries voted against that decision so basically they voted against transparency, they voted against access to the information. And these were mostly countries of the EU and NATO. Ruppler Russia latest. Russian ambassador claims international community doesn't back the UK. We are talking about Poland, Slovakia, Spain, Switzerland, UK, US, Australia, Belgium, Estonia, France, Germany, Italy, and two more countries who not part of NATO. We've got six countries who voted in favor and 17 countries who abstained. It means what? It means these countries were under very strong pressure from the first group which voted against but they take a real, honest position and they disassociate themselves with the position of the West. The international community is not ready to associate themselves with the position OK the UK and the US Alexander Yakovyenko so basically you have 23 countries against 15. What is interesting in that among these 23 countries it's all Latin America, all Africa and all Asia with two exceptions. So you can basically make your own conclusion. The international community is not ready to associate themselves with the position which was taken by the UK and the United States and which was supported by the EU and NATO countries. So this is great food for thought for everybody. Of course, this is the end of the story. The Russian ambassador added it was now UK's responsibility to show the results of its investigation of the case to the rest of the members of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, OPCW. He called on the UK to be honest and transparent and to share all the information it holds to the rest of the international community. The comments come after the UK Foreign Office admitted deleting a tweet which claimed UK experts had made clear the nerve agent used in the Salisbury attack was produced in Russia. The tweet was posted two days after Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson stated in an interview that staff at Portondown were absolutely categorical there was no doubt the source of the nerve agent was Russia.